Hello guys, what is going on? Welcome to today's little video. Um, I look a bit tired, I've not long since woke up. Um, I'm actually taking apart my graphics card today and I'm going to put it in the oven. Sounds fucking mental, but apparently, well, what it does is because over time the soldering inside, because they're not allowed to use lead solder anymore, I think it's tin now or something like that. But anyway, they have to use lead free solder, which over time with hot graphics cards, when you're using them, they heat up and then they cool down again after after you, uh, you finish using them. And basically over time it creates little micro little like splits in them and they're called whiskers or something like that. And basically what putting in the oven will do is basically melt all the solder and get rid of all those little micro whisker things and just make it one solid connection again. So hopefully whatever's been causing my graphics card to fuck up the way it has been doing, hopefully it's going to be fixed. So I'm going to take you along the journey of uh, taking apart my graphics card. This time I'm going to try not to get pissed off again like I did last time. I took my GTX 480 apart uh, and, I, and I actually like broke it. Um, my nails are really long as well. I just should probably cut those. Although I might leave them for now just so I've got like when I'm taking the GTX 480 apart, just so I've got that like, so I can fucking do it properly, <laughs> I don't know, but anyway guys, um, just my nails are really long, I don't know whether to cut them or not, but if you see them long, I already know, thanks, and I'll cut them like, five minutes or something, but anyway, thanks for watching guys, see you in a minute, bye. Alright, so we're just going to take the uh, little shroud thingy off, or the cover, whatever you want to call it, and all you do for this is just squeeze the little tabs, and just bring it off. Should just come off pretty easily actually. Um, I'm not too bothered about this card whether or not it works or not, so I wouldn't try attempting this on your GTX 980 or whatever, you know, if you just have one problem. Uh, but like if you've got an older card and you maybe want to revive it or something, then yeah, give it a go. But um, this one's always a little faster to get out of this one. So now the graphics card shroud thingy should just pull right off. <coughs> Got a bit of a cough, and there you go. So now we need to remove the rest of the graphics card, which I have actually never done before. So this is most likely going to be a huge, huge dust fest. So um, to do that, I do believe we have to undo all these screws. So I'm going to get to work on doing all these screws, and I'll save you the pleasure of not watching. All right, guys. So I just took the uh, heat sink off there. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see there is way too much thermal paste on there. Look at that, that is absolutely crazy. And this thermal paste looks dried up like a bitch as well. I'll just try and focus on it there. You can see it like kind of, I don't know, I've never really worked with a thermal paste, but that does not look good. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna continue taking the rest of it apart and I'll uh, catch you later guys. All right guys, so this is it. This is it all fully taken apart. You can see that uh, there's no plastic shit on it, no more like the plastic cover thing which I've chucked over there somewhere. Um, there's none of that. Um, I'm just getting rid of all this thermal paste now. I don't have any rubbing alcohol so it's kind of hard to get rid of all the thermal paste. But um, it's coming off. Uh, I've just done those five there or four. No, five, sorry. The little RAM modules and I've uh, just got to get all this dust off as well. A little bit dusty. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with those because won't they melt in the oven? I don't know, but anyway guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Okay guys, so this is it, it is ready to go in the oven. Just gotta wait for the uh, temperature gauge thingy to go off, tell me that it's up to 197 degrees and it's going in there for 7 minutes. So this is it guys. I'm literally pooing myself so much right now. The GTX 480 is in there. Mine, they're like kind of greasy, kind of window. We do actually use our room like some people. And you can see it's got 6 minutes 30 left, so... <laughs> I'm really nervous, man. Uh, but hopefully it all goes well. And uh, I'll see you guys later on. So, an update. We are now... We have three, 2 minutes and 40 seconds left. <laughs> it's looking a bit shiny. Um, like I say, do excuse the mess, um, we do use our oven, actually. Uh, I had Sunday dinner last week as well, I think that's what created all this fucking mess. So anyways, um, just 2 minutes 20 left pretty much now. Looking very shiny indeed, you can see the solder melting, uh, which is all good. If it doesn't look shiny enough, uh, I'll keep it in there for a little bit longer. But um, it's been in there for, well, it's going to be in there for 7 minutes. Uh, so hopefully the next time I, um, I video now will be me taking it out, so 
see you guys soon. So here we are. Two seconds left, one second, zero second. So I'm gonna now open it up. So it's the light. Fucking hell. It is shiny. But my friend is a freshly cooked GDX 480. Um, I'm gonna let it sit in there for a minute or two before I faff around with it. Just because I don't want to like bodge the solder or anything. Like obviously the solder's just melted, so I don't want to be moving it around and like wiggling the solder because then it'd be even worse than it fucking was originally. So hopefully it works, and um, I'll probably come back in about five minutes and take it out, put it on the uh, kitchen side, and uh, take off the thermal paste from the uh, heat sink, the actual heat sink because I haven't done that yet. And uh, then I'm going to go out and buy some thermal paste. So I will catch you guys later on. Right, guys so here we are it's been out the oven now for about a minute uh, it's gonna probably stay out the oven now for another hour and a half until fucking it cools down a bit but I don't even know why I put it in the oven because to be honest it's never probably ran cooler than the temperature it was inside the oven so obviously that's just jokes um, but the GTX 480 is known for running very very hot so you can kind of imagine why this has happened you know if the solder's split or something uh, due to it running very very hot uh, obviously the solder's like all fucked up and shit so Anyway, that's enough of me explaining like an idiot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the thermal grease on the heatsink now, and uh, I'm gonna then go into town and get some thermal paste. And hopefully, by the time I get back, it should be cooled down uh, to the point where I can touch it and uh, obviously put on the thermal paste around the RAM heatsinks and all that shit as well. So. Hopefully it works, fingers crossed, because I do miss this beast, you know, I've been without it now for like, how long is it, uh, about, about a month or something, so yeah, it kind of sucks not having a proper computer, so, and I kind of need it with college as well, so, just bang my fucking head on the shelf, but yep, I'll see you guys later, peace.